Welcome back. So now that we fully understand our assumptions and information and the scenario, we are now ready to start preparing our financial model. I mean, we are ready to prepare our future financial statements for the next five years. Now in the financial statements, we will have income statement. I mean the profit and loss statement, the balance sheet and the cash flow statement. Now you may like to do that on one sheet, all of them or you may like to do that separately on each sheet. I would prefer to do one separate sheet for each type of report. And for that, first of all, I will add a new sheet here. Now I will do the basic formatting on one sheet that is for profit and loss statement. And then I can replicate that for all of the other reports. I mean the balance sheet and the cash flow statement. Now the very first thing that we need to do on this new page is is to make sure that whatever formatting we do and whatever report we prepare is eventually printable on a piece of paper and on PDF as well because eventually you will have to present that to your client or to your uh, boss so it should be printable nicely so for that what I will do is I will go to page layout and I will set my page orientation here so eventually I would myself like to print it in landscape. So I'll click that here. And now you can see you have these lines that are telling you your page size. And by the way, you may like to change the page size here. So I would prefer to use A4 because that is what we use usually in the printing. And then you may also like to change the margins as well. So for now, I will stick to normal but eventually we may be changing to narrow as well but that is we don't have to worry about that for now now once we have done that we just need to make sure that you know we are only using so many columns that we need so we definitely need one column for the you know all the information for the account titles I would say titles would be a better word and then we will be using one column for the blank column you know why we are doing that it is useful when we are preparing the cash flow statement then we are working on a five year plan so i will be saying one two three four five this is just a rough you know i'm rough working we are definitely going to do proper working i mean the proper year number here later on so once you have done that let me change this as well and i would say the titles are going to be bigger so let me make it this big and then this blank column is going to be very small it is not important at all so we are we are going to keep it small and then the next thing is these five columns should be nicely spread here on the rest of the area so i'll do that this way by selecting all of them first so that all the five columns are going to be in in the same size and once you have done that you can see that your column five is going out of the page so i'll have to go back select all of them and decrease the size so as to make sure that all five columns are nicely fit in on one page and now you can see that all of my five columns are here on this page the next thing that we need to do is you know we don't need this text anymore so i'm going to delete that all the way and then let us add the top header here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to color these top two rows for the headings and for that I'll go to this home panel here and by the way let us fix this top panel here you know uh, for the for this time being and once you have selected these two columns we are going to choose the color that is fill color and this dark blue color is the one that we are going to use and you can by the way choose any dark color dark blue color uh, usually we use dark blue color for headings that has just become a market normal and then we will be using you know we will be adding the titles here so first of all we have to add the title of the company and the company's name was stuffed smiles and we are going to use white font for that and with white font let's make it bold as well so this is now a little looking decent and i will be zooming in here uh control alt plus sign i'll be zooming in here just to make sure that we can see our page now on our screen on our full screen and after that i will also be adding the report title here and i will be using the profit and loss statement on this page and let us color this to white as well 
then we will have a separate line here that we are going to color that in gray mode and this will tell you basically that your amounts are in dollars and by the way if you are rounding as well if you are working in millions then you will also mention here in uh, million dollars so i will bill i will be using this here and i will say let's first of all decrease the font size this line is not so important and let's also make it italic just to make sure you know this is not very much highlighted okay so with that i will be adding the year numbers here financial year one two three four five but we need to bring that in a little different way so we are going to do that in a few minutes now for this moment what i'm gonna do is i'm going to rename uh, first of all you know copy this sheet and copy this sheet twice and what how i am doing that look at this when i press the control key and i click here i'm sorry i press the control key and i move click and move here you can see there is a plus sign now if i drop that you will see that you know a new sheet will be added so i only need three sheets here at this moment so i'm going to delete this one and i will stick with this one two three sheets now let us go back to the sheet one this is going to be our profit and loss statement so i'll rename this as p and l the second one is going to be my balance sheet so first of all let us change the title here and by the way it should also be in the bold and no bold is not looking nice so let's make it this way and then let us rename this as balance sheet and then let us rename our last sheet as cash flow statement and now let us change the heading here as well that is cash flow statement now the next thing that i need to do is to simply input all the titles of the profit and loss account all the account titles that are presented in the profit and loss statement these will include profit and i mean you know sales cost of sales so let us begin from the top and i will be just speeding up you know i will be just fast forward forwarding the video to save your time here Now that we have listed all the values let us do some you know beautification work here so let me bold all the totals so gross profit ebi tda operating profit pbit profit before tax and the net profit should be in bold let us also make the headings in italic so i'll make this one in italic operating expenses and also this one by the way just to repeat the last step what you need is you need to do is you need to press f4 so for example if i have to you know make this one italic that is non-operating income and expenses i'll press f4 and you can see we have you can see we have done that the next thing that we need to do is that we need to like you can say here that administration warehousing and marketing are basically sub accounts for operating expenses so i just need to present them nicely so i will do is i will use this button here to you know increase the indent of them similarly the advertisement and commissions are basically sub accounts of marketing so i'll double indent them to just to make sure that anyone who is reading this profit and loss statement can see what is happening here uh, which accounts are sub accounts and similarly for depreciation and amortization let us use this indent and for operating uh, for this non operating income let us use this one and the rest of this should be okay now let me zoom out a little bit and let me see the overall look and feel of my page and you can see these two lines are not necessary so one is sufficient for us and another thing that we would like to do is to you know add the double line for the net profit so i'll go here from these options i'll choose this top and bottom border 
and now you can see we have this top and bottom border and also for the subtotals I want to add top and bottom border but not with the double line so I'll go to these options and you can see that here we have top and bo bottom border option and once I do that we have this top and bo bottom border but the problem with this top and bottom border is this is very bold you know this is very eye-catching and I don't want this line to be so eye-catching only this net profit should be so eye-catching so what I need to do is I need to go to these options of this uh, borders and here I will change the line color to this dark gray and now press the escape key to get rid of this icon and now here I'll select the cells again and I will go back and I will select, select this top and bottom border again and now you can see you have this, these borders but these are not so bold so they are looking nice but not so bold anyway and let us do the same for EBITDA and this time after selecting the cells I just need to press the F4 key it will repeat my last action and similarly for operating profit and similarly for PBIT and similarly for profit before tax so we have given some importance to all the subtotals but still they are not you know they are not stealing the page right so with that we can do one more thing and that is we can go to this view option here and we can remove these grid lines and with this you know you can see that all of a sudden the look of the page has completely changed and it is looking way nicer now let us do the similar work for the balance sheet and the cash flow statement as well I mean the formatting and styling but let us do that in fast forward just to save your time 